Uh, hi, my name is Lucas White. I work for GMO and I'm a portfolio manager uh, for our GMO climate change strategy. GMO uh, is a, a global asset management firm. Uh, we have uh, a value orientation and a long-term orientation. Uh, our founder, Jeremy Grantham, uh, has, has been historically a huge advocate uh, for addressing climate change. Uh, and that, that weaves nicely into the climate change strategy that we manage for Witten. Uh, more specifically, the climate change strategy evolved uh, out of work I'm, I've done in the real asset space. So investing in the global natural resources markets, uh, where I've always considered climate change a big risk to the fossil fuel companies uh, and our investments in clean energy and renewables, uh, et cetera, ended up evolving into a separate strategy. The investment philosophy for the climate change strategy revolves around two key uh, factors. One is that climate change is an urgent environmental issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, the second is that the economics of clean energy solutions have improved dramatically over the last decade or two. Uh, the, the combination of those two factors leads to a situation where there's going to be uh, decades uh, of secular growth in clean energy solutions. Uh, and our orientation is to identify companies that give you exposure to that long-term secular growth, but to try to find companies that have been mispriced uh, and traded a discount. And if you can find companies that traded a discount, uh, but grow strongly for, for many years into the future, you should do quite well uh, as a long-term investor. We own 100 to 120 uh, companies in the portfolio. Uh, depending on, on the opportunity set that we see at a given point in time. We're generally looking for companies that have strong long-term growth prospects but aren't priced uh, to, to have strong growth prospects. In other words, companies that are trading at a discount in many cases uh, to the market yet have much stronger growth prospects than the market. Uh, and those growth prospects aren't, aren't being appreciated uh, by the market at a given point in time. Uh, we will trade uh, at times uh, quite frequently, two or three times in a month, let's say, when there's a lot of market volatility and changing opportunities, uh, or we may change, uh, trade rather infrequently. Uh, we've gone two, three, four months uh, at an extreme without trading because not much was happening in the market. Uh, since 2020, markets have been very volatile, so uh, we have been trading a bit more than we traded in the years leading up to 2020. I think that Witten's collective wisdom brings a lot of advantages to investors. Within the context of the strategy that I run uh, for Witten, the climate change strategy, uh, when we launched that strategy and, and Witten was an early investor in it, uh, it wasn't uh, a common strategy for investors to, to target. Uh, and so their ability to see an opportunity and invest in it in er at an early stage, uh, I think was pretty impressive uh, that they had that insight. There are a lot of trends uh, that are going to shape the portfolio going out into the future. Uh, decarbonizing uh, electricity generation is obviously uh, an urgent need. Uh, electrifying our vehicle fleet, uh, carbon capture and sequestration. There are various uh, technologies and solutions for climate change that exist today, uh, but deploying them in, in wide scale uh, is gonna take many, many years. Uh, or, or decades, and, and we hope to capitalize uh, on those long-term growth opportunities. Mm -hmm.